at four, the sit-in on the floor of the House of Representatives is over. Democratic lawmakers, including Congresswoman Louise Slaughter, protested for more than 24 hours. They hoped to force Republicans to vote on gun control legislation, but Republicans recessed until after the 4th of July. Weijia Jiang explains what's next. Democrats protested on the House floor for nearly 26 hours to demand a vote on new gun control legislation. We got to vote like we never, ever voted before. <laughs> Representative John Lewis of Georgia vowed to pick up where they left off when Congress is back in session on July 5th. Lewis led the sit-in as lawmakers delivered passionate speeches and held up signs with the names of the Orlando gun shooting victims. After delaying votes for several hours, Republicans eventually worked through the protest. Uh, what, been... Refer to the House calendar. And pushed forward with votes on several unrelated issues. Even when Congress returns, Speaker Ryan says he's not giving in to these tactics for a bill he believes is flawed. We are not going to take away the constitutional rights of law-abiding Americans. And we're not going to allow publicity stunts to stop us from doing our job. But Texas Congressman Louis Gohmert says Ryan should have put a stop to the sit-in. He confronted the Democrats on the House floor. Radical Islam! And Gohmert says claims that Republicans are working for the NRA are bogus. I don't care how much money anybody gives me. I'm not in anybody's pocket. The Democrats say they won't give up until they get a vote. Weijia Jang, CBS News, Capitol Hill. Republican Chris Collins, who represents the 27th district, including parts of Monroe County and the area west of it, released a statement about the sit-in saying, in part, unfortunately, the Democrat minority has opted to employ a publicity stunt rather than offer a meaningful solution to address the issue of terrorism threatening our country. Democrat Louise Slaughter, who represents the 25th district on the east side of Monroe County, also released a statement today calling the gun control measures bipartisan and common sense. But she said, quote, even in the rules committee we were prevented from bringing these measures to the floor she said quote it is shameful that republicans have recessed instead of allowing votes on these bills